These five devices are among the fastest charging smartphones on the planet. But how will they stack up against one another in this charging speed test? First up, we have Vivo's greatest creation, the X70 Pro Plus, which houses a 4,500 mAh battery and 55 watt charging capabilities. And even though 55 watts seems like a lot, it's actually the lowest charging wattage of the test. Bumping up charging speed even further is the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra, which can boost up its massive 5,000 mAh battery with 67 watt charging support. And of course, taking things to another level are the 120 watt charging beasts, starting with the Xiaomi 11T Pro, which sports the same sized battery as the Mi 11 Ultra, but charges even faster thanks to 120 watt support. Then we have another Xiaomi device, the Mix 4, which has a slightly smaller battery than its Xiaomi brothers at 4,500 milliamps, but keeps charging just as snappy as the 11T Pro thanks to its 120 watt charging capability. And lastly, we have the Vivo Made iQ8 Pro, which houses the same battery cell as its Vivo cousin, that being 4,500 milliamps but steps things up a notch to match its Xiaomi competition by also boasting 120 watts charging. I'm extremely excited to get things going. This is Technic and without further ado, let's go. Before popping all phones on charge, it is worth checking out the temperature of each device. This is pretty much room temperature since all devices have been sitting idle for a couple of hours. Popping them all on charge now and do bear in mind that the temperatures in relation to the interval or in relation to the interval, the time interval that is at the top right hand corner, which is also in relation to the percentage below the branding of each device and above the actual phones. I have made sure to disable all forms of battery optimization or optimized charging for any of these devices. And I have also made sure to enable boost charging speed. If you have noted on my social media, I explain why. Moving on to the five minute mark interval, we have 16% on the Vivo X70 Pro Plus, 22% on the Mi 11 Ultra, 25% on the 11T Pro, 30% on the Mix 4, and 40% on the iQ8 Pro after just five minutes. That is absolutely ridiculous in terms of charging speed for any phone anywhere in the world. Moving on to the 10 minute mark interval, we have 31% on the Vivo, 38% on the Mi 11 Ultra, 51% on the 11T. Even though it has the same wattage capabilities as the Mix 4, it is sitting 13% behind that, which is sitting on 64%. 72% leading the pack here is the iQ8 Pro. It has the same battery cell size as the Mix 4, though it is smaller than the 11T. You gotta remember the 11T's battery capacity is larger than the Mix 4 and the iQ8 Pro, meaning that it should take longer to charge because it is sitting at the same charging wattage of 120 watts after 15 minutes, 46% on the Vivo, 54 on the Mi 11 Ultra, 77% on the 11T Pro, 90% on the Mix 4, and now 100% on the iQ8 Pro after 17 minutes, which is out of this world fastest charging time ever seen on my channel was the iQ7 before it, and now the iQ8 Pro beat it by just one extra minute, which is mental. Reaching that 19 minute mark, the Mix 4 decides to clock out the fastest I've actually tested it out on my channel was 21 minutes so 19 minutes is a fantastic result for it though it did have the hottest peak temperature so far in the test we'll have to see if that changes throughout the test 99 percent on the 11t pro after 20 minutes 68 percent on the mi 11 ultra and 62 percent on the vivo x70 pro plus the x70 pro plus and mi 11 ultra have the slowest wattage charging capabilities over here and the mi 11 ultra has the largest battery of the bunch and after 22 minutes the 11t pro with a huge 5000 milliamp hour battery same size as the mi 11 ultra clocks out 22 minutes for the 11t pro is a fantastic job considering it has 500 milliamps more battery capacity when compared to the Mix 4 and the iQ8 Pro. After 25 minutes, we have 75% on the Vivo and 80% on the Mi 11 Ultra here. It's very strange to see that the 67 watt charging is pretty much neck and neck with the 55 watt charging on the Vivo as opposed to the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra over here. But you've got to bear in mind that the Xiaomi does have a larger battery at 5,000 milliamps as opposed to the 4,500 milliamps on the X70 Pro Plus. After 30 minutes, we have 86% on the Vivo and 91% on the 11 Ultra. Still a 5% lead on the 11 Ultra over here after 30 minutes with the Mi 11 Ultra being the hottest in the last interval and the Vivo X70 Pro Plus being the coolest in the last interval and the coolest overall in terms of the highest peak temperature that it has received. Let's see if it will stick to that throughout the test and 99% on the Mi 11 Ultra after 35 minutes, 97% on the X70 Pro Plus after 35 minutes. Still fantastic charging time here considering these phones do have much slower charging compared to the three devices on the right hand side. 35 minutes for the Mi 11 Ultra, the quickest I've ever taken to charge it on my channel is 39 minutes, so 35 minutes is fantastic. And reaching the end of the test now, how long is it gonna take the X70 Pro Plus until it clocks out and it clocks 
clocks out at 39 minutes, which is pretty darn good considering it has the lowest charging watt capabilities here of 55 watts and still a decently sized battery of 4,500 milliamps. So I guess it's safe to say that the lowest wattage phone all the way on the left hand side charged the slowest and the fastest wattage all the way on the right hand side charged the fastest pretty much in the order that I set them all out here. And if we take a look at milliamp hour per minute reading over here, the Vivo X70 Pro Plus did the worst with 115 milliamps. And of course, sweeping the floor of all devices here is the IQ8 Pro with a crazy 264.71 milliamp hours per minute of charge. Fifth place over here, the Vivo X70 Pro Plus. And while it was the slowest on this test, it is still among the fastest devices to charge on the planet with 39 minutes, pretty impressive with 55 watt charging. 67 watt charging on the Mi 11 Ultra placing fourth, doing it in 35 minutes with a huge 5,000 milliamp hour battery is impressive to say the least. Moving on to the 120 watt big boys, third place here, the Xiaomi 11T Pro doing it in 22 minutes, has a larger battery than the other two phones with 120 watt charging on my channel. So still very, very impressive. Second place here with that smaller battery, 4,500 milliamps compared to the 11T Pro doing it in 90 minutes, just three minutes quicker than a phone with a much larger battery still very impressive and of course first place the crown king of my channel overall is the iq8 pro doing it in 17 minutes the fastest i have ever tested on my channel 120 watt charging 4500 milliamp hour battery and if we take a quick sneak peek at the bottom of the screen the first 80 percent the iq8 pro did it in just 12 minutes 13 minutes on the mix 4 16 minutes on the 11t pro 25 minutes on the mi 11 ultra and 27 minutes on the vivo x70 pro plus the reason why i've indicated the first 80 percent is because a lot of phones start to slow slow down and cool their phones down after it reaches 80% of a charge. Now, if we take a look at the last tests of the three Xiaomi devices, the Mi 11 Ultra's last test was 39 minutes, so it's seen an improvement. The Xiaomi 11T Pro's last test was 18 minutes, so it's taken a little longer to charge this time around at 22 minutes. And the previous test of my Mix 4 did it in 30 minutes, which is actually a hell of a lot slower than the 19 minutes we got today. And that is because I actually had boost charging off in my last test. I made sure to have boost charge enabled in this test is a bit of a controversy between enabling and disabling it but I can assure you guys today that boost charging on definitely helps improve charging speed now when it comes to the two outer devices here that being the vivo and iq devices I haven't tested them on my channel before so I decided to compare them to their predecessors the x60 pro plus is the x70 pro plus's predecessor it had a smaller battery at 4200 milliamps and took 52 minutes to charge with the same wattage and a smaller battery so the x70 pro plus has certainly stepped up the game over here and when comparing the iq8 pro to its predecessor the iq7 which had a much smaller battery at 4000 milliamps the same 120 watt charging did it in 18 minutes this did it a minute quicker with a larger battery which means that batteries are getting better and so is charging technology i'm super excited to see what comes in the future from all of these smartphone brands this is technic and i'll catch you in the next one